All right, you guys, so we'll check out how to create this crossed dithered effect here in After Effects with no plugins. So first I'm gonna start in Illustrator and show you how I made this pattern. Now this seems quite simple to make, but it's a little bit more tricky. But if you wanna skip this part, I also gonna leave a link in the description with a source file where you can download the pattern as well. So first I'm gonna go and create a new document and I'm gonna go to the width and the width has to be 32 by the height 32. Let's click on create. And here we're gonna go to the line tool, long click on it and let's select the rectangular grid tool. Now let's go and double click on the thumbnail of the rectangular grid tool. And here let's go to the horizontal dividers number and we're gonna to need to increase this to seven, but it's going to add another line. So it's gonna complete it to eight. Let's go to the vertical dividers. We're gonna increase it to seven and click okay. Now press and hold shift, create a perfect square. And let's go here to the stroke fill colors and I'm gonna go and swap it. So the fill is going to be black. And now we're gonna to go to the pathfinder here. Let's click on the three dots and click on divide. Let's select the square, right click and select on group. And from here, you're gonna to need to recolor all the squares with these colors right here. So you can screenshot it to copy paste the colors. And after you imported the image, I'm gonna select the square, right click and select on group all. And I'm gonna go and select the first square. And let's go and search for the eyedropper tool, which is right here. And let's go to the first color, which is basically pure black. And then I'm gonna select the second square, select the eyedropper tool or press I to make it faster and click on the second square and so on and so forth. Now take that in mind that you can repeat the gray colors because each gray nuance is different, even if some of them look the same. This is called the Bayer 8x8 dithering and only with this mosaic color combination you can achieve that cross to the third effect. After you are done, select all the squares, right click, group, and I'm gonna scale it down, press and hold shift, and I'm gonna position it here, press and hold alt, drag it to the right, also press and hold shift to isolate, and we're gonna intersect it right here, press control D to do another copy, and I'm gonna press control D another time, so we get like four copies. Select all of it, press and hold alt, drag it down, also press and hold shift, intersect, press control D and control D again. So this is the pattern. I'm gonna select all of it, right click, group. And from here, we're gonna go to the align, align it horizontally and vertically. Zoom in, press and hold shift plus alt, and let's scale it up until it is going to snap it at the end of the page. Now we're gonna to go to the file, let's go to export and click on save to web legacy. Here I'm gonna save it as a PNG, I'm gonna go with PNG 8. And now let's go to the image size, make sure to link it, and I'm gonna decrease it to 32 by 32. Click on save. All right, so now we're gonna to go to After Effects, click on New Composition, rename this as Pattern. And for the preset, I'm gonna select 4K 29 frame per second. Let's click OK. And let's drag and drop the pattern that we created. Now let's go to Effects and Presets, search for Repeat Tile. And let's go and drag and drop the Repeat Tile on the pattern. Now let's go to the Extend Right. I'm gonna type in here 2000, Extend Left 2000. Extend down, I'm gonna go with 1200 and extend up 1200 again. So basically this is how it's gonna look. Now let's go back here to the project, right click here, new composition, rename this as final comp. And here I'm gonna go back to the presets and this time I'm gonna go and search for 1080p, 29 frame per second, click okay. And in this composition, first I'm gonna drag and drop the footage, right click on the footage, I'm gonna go to transform and select fit to comp. And let's go back to the project, drag and drop the pattern into the final comp composition on top of the footage. Let's switch the blend mode at the pattern. So I'm gonna go and click on the toggle switch. And here you can see the blend mode is gonna appear and I'm gonna go and select the overlay. Let's go and create an adjustment layer, right click here, go to new, select adjustment layer, right click to rename. I'm gonna go with effects. And let's go to effects and presets, search for threshold. Drag and drop the threshold onto the effects layer. And check this out, if I zoom in, it is going to transform into cross ditter. If you wanna scale up the dittering, that's gonna be a little bit more tricky. And for that, we're gonna search for the mosaic. And let's go and drag and drop the mosaic on top of the threshold. I'm gonna uncheck the threshold and we're gonna need to transform the mosaic rectangles into perfect squares. 
So what I'm going to do is press and hold Alt and click on the horizontal blocks stopwatch. Now let's go to the expressions, type in this comp dot and the horizontal blocks are basically the width. So we're going to type in width and click somewhere here to deactivate the expression. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the vertical blocks, press and hold Alt and click on the stopwatch at the vertical blocks. Let's go to the expressions, type in this comp dot and the vertical blocks are going to be the height. Let's type in height. Click somewhere here. And of course, we're going to scale the mosaic. So let's go to the effects and presets, type in slider and drag and drop the slider control in between the mosaic and the threshold. And now we're going to connect the horizontal and vertical blocks to the slider to this guy right here. I also going to set it up to one type in one because at zero, it won't do anything. And now I'm going to go back to the expressions at the width, click on it, type in slash. And let's go to the horizontal blocks pick whip and drag it and connect it to the slide right here. Now let's go down to the height, click on it, type in slash. Let's go to the vertical block pick whip and connect it to the slider again. There you go. And if I want to increase the slider, increase it. And as you can see, it is going to increase the pixelation as well. Now we're also going to need to connect the pattern to the slider. So it's going to increase that as well. So I'm going to reduce this to one. And I'm going to go down to the pattern. Let's select the layer with the pattern, press the letter S for scale. And here I'm going to press and hold Alt and click on the stopwatch at the scale. So it's going to show up the expressions and we're going to need to connect it to the slider. So what I'm going to do is scroll up. Let's go and select the effects. So it's going to show up the slider control, scroll down. Let's go to the expressions, click on it. And I'm going to type in asterisk and let's go to the scale pick whip and let's connect it to the slider. I also going to need to go to the mosaic and make sure to activate the sharp colors. Make sure to check it. Let's activate the threshold and scale it. And you can see some of the effects are incorrect and some of them are correct. So we're going to need to correct this and we're going to go back here to the pattern. And let's select the pattern. And here we're going to need to click on the toggle switch. So this way it's going to show up the quality and sampling right here. Click on it. Click again until it's going to show this dotted line. So this way corrected the dittering. I'm going to select the effects and let's go to the slider and this way you can scale it. Now also make sure that don't slide it with this handle right here because this is going to mess it up. For example, you can see it is going to add this value 7.10 and it's going to mess up the composition. And if I change this to seven, it is going to correct it. So if you scale it from here, from the number, it is going to do it correctly. So I'm going to collapse it and I'm going to scale it down to five. And about at least one last important thing when you render it. So I'm going to go to the file export and we're going to go to the render quo and here you're going to need to change the best settings to the current settings in order to get this dittering effect and that's how i make this cross the dittered effect here in after effects thanks for watching